Hello, welcome back. Last time I had some smuggling adventures in a strawberry room. So, just in the middle of things here, 222 strawberries. Out of 289? Alright, well. Only that many left to get. Doesn't really mean anything. So, I'm somewhere. I came up this. There's a book with a poem over here. This room. I decided it looked long and complicated and didn't do it. So let's do it. What's happening here? Throw right? Okay, this doesn't look that long or complicated. There's that switch. That's gonna, like, eat my jellyfish or something? I think I saw that happen once. Okay, well, I didn't entirely parse that, but I think I more or less understand it. Oops. Right, the dropping. Uh-huh, the dropping. The thing I'm bad at. What? How? Right, because button releases feels so much different from button presses. Synchronizing the two between each other is hard. That's the reason. Okay, you say throw that way? Probably a little later than that. Uh, what? Yuck. Oh, I didn't grab. Is that the only smuggle in the room? Oops. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Synchronized press and release. Yup, what are you doing? Alright, just hold down for a million years. And then maybe it'll hear that input once in a while. Uh, what is happening? So I end up there with two jellyfish in the general area. I'm supposed to like smuggle in and then back out? What's the second one for? Do I throw one at that switch early? The other one is a little low for... Why are there two? Because I need one after the switch eats one of them to get through here alive. So switch will eat one. Maybe I just throw right... I'm going to try throwing right there. The wall iconography is pretty clear, but like... Maybe that's the spot where it just leaves me to my own devices and like, you know what you're doing, figure it out. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. So that didn't hit the switch. Oops. Such a thing is too low for that. Gosh, bad. Whoops, that's... I misread completely. It's... oh, there's a lot going on on screen at once. Just kind of doing things through peripheral vision. I'll make misjudgments sometimes. Yeah, dang. I keep feeling like I just barely make it there to the that bubble. I can drop down a lot farther than I keep acting like I can. Yeah, I'm just not smuggling. I don't know where that jellyfish is supposed to go. It just says throw it right. And then what? Like, then I have another one in my hand. Why Why are there is two? Like, how, how do I juggle the second one forward? That's my task to figure out. <sighs> um, no, I really do not know. But I haven't successfully attempted that smuggle maneuver yet. Dang it! Am I too low to grab, or is something else wrong? It's hard to tell. Ooh, I do have to hold up there to make it. Okay. <clears throat> hold up. Jab! Again, I can drop down farther than I'm tending to, so... <sighs> not that that helps. Maybe it does. Yeah, because I think, like, my... 
the the like back half of my dash doesn't really do anything after I've grabbed the jellyfish. So it kind of, as long as I do touch it at all, I think it maybe doesn't matter how far down I dip before. Like, no matter what part of my dash I'm in, I think I still get the same amount of height. So yeah, that's why dipping down would work, as it does. <sighs> Gotta get a little higher for that, though. <clears throat> Not that high, though. Okay, so throw, smuggle! I... my direction somehow was... had an up component. All this, and I still have really no idea what I'm doing at that dream block, other than just trying to do a uh, smuggle in and then back out and see what happens afterward. How did you not dream grab? I was holding climb and right. Was I really too late for that? I mean, it's happened before, so probably. Sure didn't feel like it to me, though. Whoa, I'm way too low. I corrected. Okay. <sighs> there. Okay, well, that's what I'm doing. The sequence is correct. All right. Fair enough. I intuited it. Oops. This didn't feel like anything until I saw exactly where it put all the pieces. No, no, no. Boy, I wish I could do something to make that failure less common. <sighs> Just, like, I haven't figured out any way of thinking to convince my fingers to do what they need to do there. I missed the switch! How did I miss this? Well, I was too low, I guess, but it didn't look like I was gonna be? However, admittedly, my eyes were kind of elsewhere. You know what? I wouldn't need to smuggle if I'm quick enough about my in and outs. Oh, too high! Such a thing is too high, and that's what it looks like. Yeah, so I could in theory just do that if I were quick enough to catch that on the way down. However, I think smuggling is more realistic. That's what the level's about, so... I might as well just do what it wants me to do. Even if theoretically I could be quick enough not to have to. Uh, now what? That except better. Okay, that was really close. Uh, down a bit. Ooh, I was too late because I had to correct my height and that took some time. Don't take too long. Ooh, my bounce was bad. I missed the spring. Ooh, I, yep, okay. That's something that happens much less often. That was a problem I used to have that I mostly debugged. So rarely do I input my dash so quickly that a regrab becomes impossible anymore. So yeah, that is a measurable way that I've gotten better at jellyfish handling. So that feels good. But yeah, my current big bugbear is just the uh, throwing when I mean to drop. I, I've gotten better at it today, quite noticeably, so that's nice. Okay, so I gotta dip down lower for that, it's just I'm having trouble judging my future trajectory there. Everything here happens just a little faster than I'm ready to think about it happening. It's just a lot all at once. This are going at like 95% the speed that it's going, I would find it a lot more handleable. Oops. I could make that happen in assist options, but rumor has it game physics wouldn't be accurate then. Yep. Ah, never mind, my problem came back. Just 
stay away for long enough for the room to get cleared, please. Arr. Right, so remember, when smuggling, the grab input needs to be very close to the dash input, but not that close. They do need to be one after the, the other. But like, one very quickly after the other. Like that. Oops. One after the other very quickly, like that. Throw at the thing, get nice and low for this. Yeah, that's the way. I did it. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, those are spikes. I could not see them. <laughs> All right, well, I'm on the other side of the locked door now. So, shiny. Why shiny? I'm gonna find out why shiny. Well, here's a signpost. Somehow. Jelly climb jump tech, taught in the expert gym. Hey, I was good at that eventually. So, let's see if I can remember how it works. So, climb jump. Uh, okay, well that mostly worked. Pretty easy, just don't line up with the spikes there. So it's just, whoops, right, that's fine actually. Holding down the whole time. I just sort of release... Hold on. Uh -huh. I might want to press climb a little bit later. Let's see. No, I need to... No, that's not... Uh, see, the problem I'm having is I run out of stamina. So I'm holding down the whole time. And then I'm just holding climb and jump and just releasing and repressing both. That's almost working. See, I can't just do a, an actual neutral jump because that takes me into the spikes. So it does need to be a climb jump. This feels too slow, th well, or rather, I use my stamina too quickly. Could I...? Maybe I could do that. Um. Why is this not working? Yeah, I think this... I think this is the way to start this. But for some reason, I'm having trouble continuing it after that. What's with that green switch? Oh, I'm supposed to dash into that. Okay, well that's... I can recover my dash after I drop off the jellyfish. Ah, I see what's wrong. I need to just hold the jump button this entire time. Because if I release it... Oh boy, I'm... Oh. <laughs> yup. Um, nope. It's so much harder to initiate that input just like in the middle of everything than it is to start it from the ground. But I did it. No, dang it. Woo! And like, getting the phase aligned with the spikes there is... Good grief. <laughs> this is, uh, this is fiddly, but fortunately it's just one tiny little challenge. Just one tiny little challenge. Why am I going outward? Like, what's causing that? I don't know. Ah. Uh, well, I navigated that. I made it work. That was on purpose. Cool. We doing it more, huh? Okay. Is there something over here? Oops. There's a death plane. 
No, there's nothing over there. Exit is that. Okay, so you want... Okay. You want more of the same, but in a more complicated obstacle course. Cool. Alright, I'm with you. I can dash, but I'm going to be dream dashing, so I probably don't want to do it before then. Oh, there's another wall that I can bounce on there. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to be holding climb on my way up to do... Okay. Yeah, this is a lot more complicated than that. Than what the gym taught me to do. This is cool, though. Like, I was wondering when that would become applicable, and it's here. Oh, good grief. So... I'm not getting an initial boost a lot of the time here. I, I know I don't want that kind of neutral. Like, why is... Uh, <laughs> There, and that's, that's what I wanted. Ah, the problem is... ...that I'm pressing jump before repressing climb. Okay, that's the issue. Other order, okay. Yeah, okay, that 100% solved my problem. There's a... Uh, I need to do something else there. Um, so I can dash up. There's a crystal in front of the dream, but what am I doing? Hold on. Binoculars, tell me stuff. What's happening? <sighs> okay. I can just dash up. There's a strawberry way up there. Wow, that's a long way up. I'm not sure I follow. However, I think I can skip this dream block situation. Let's try. Alright, so the important thing is that I repress climb before I press jump. Oh boy. Ah, uh, right, I'm gonna have stamina issues, huh? No, no, no. Not like that. Oh, no, not like that. Okay. I need to do the whole operation pretty quickly because I'll lose height if I don't. Well, not like that. Nope. Uh, oh. Why did I get so much less height there? No, I should just do a regular wall jump on this. Right, no climb jump on that. Just regular. Okay. No, not that. Nope, restart. Um, can I... Yes, I can. Hmm. Nope. Uh, that's maybe not enough height. What I was planning to do was to zip up through that little gap in the spikes. No, not that. Well, I got away with that, but then I didn't. What am I doing? I'm pressing jump before repressing climb. Other order. Yep. Yep, and I didn't get the boost. So that just has to do with, like, my horizontal position or something. Stop it. Okay. Lots of height. But then I run out of climb. I feel like what it's asking me to do is not what I'm doing, because there I, I have stamina problems here. Maybe that's why I have to take the conventional route there. Where does the jellyfish go when I'm... Like, you want me to smuggle something somehow? Stop it. No, no, and then the throw direction is a problem, too. Okay. 
No. Oh. What was it they said about take your time? <laughs> I think I'm not taking my time. That's not going to be changing. Now why are you incapable of dropping downward, me? I'm the one to blame here. Don't take it out of Madeline. She just does what I tell her to do. I'm giving her the wrong commands. Nope. Sequencing. Now, hold on. Can I climb with... Yeah, I can. Okay, so... I might change climb buttons for this. Because, like... I'm using an analog trigger for climbing, and that... That has some imprecision in, like... I don't know the exact moment when... I'm pressing it, like... That, when it considers it to be a button press. Fortunately... Grab is bound to several different shoulder buttons. In fact, all of them, I think. Is that true? This one, this one, this one, this one. Yes, all my shoulder buttons. Every single one. So, I'm switching to a digital shoulder button for the duration of this, just so that I have better certainty about when I'm actually pressing it. Because the sequence is both... There's both a very important sequence here and the time is, like, super short. Good grief. This is kinda nuts. And also, I'm doing something I'm not used to now. I'm gonna try going back to the other way and see if it's actually just, just okay. Mmm, see, there it wasn't. Now what? And now I'm out of- I couldn't grab because I was flashing red. Did I accidentally do a- No, no, no. <sighs> this is a whole new feeling of discombobulation. Uh, uh, no. So many different and varied ways this game has of making me uncomfortable. It's great. I love it. <laughs> we might be here for a bit, in case you hadn't noticed. Oh boy. Ah. See, that's good because it preserves some of my stamina, but I can't make it happen on purpose. And that grab didn't grab! <laughs> ah. No! Okay, I'm trying some different things. I can hold down for a lot longer. In fact, I can just mostly always be holding down. Yeah, I don't have to release down nearly as much as I am, in case that'll help me. I don't think it will. Oh, boy. I should do a regular wall jump of that. Okay, regular wall jump on both of the leftmost ones. Uh, if I could ever get there again. Like this. Okay, regular wall jump. Ooh, that takes me too far. And what am I doing after that? Like, I don't actually have a strong idea for what's happening post this. I know I want to do that. I think I'm gonna do that. No. Nope. Then just some kind of juggling act to eat those two crystals over there and uh, fly upward at a, a, a large distance somehow. And then, hold on, but I have to smuggle in that spot? What? Idea. 
idea no good. No, I gotta... What? How much height do I get by just... Um, doing this? About... Two-thirds of a screen. I need to go an entire screen from the... From the... How? Wait. What do you expect me to do here? That's a lot of distance to cover. No, I don't know what's happening here. So if there's a jellyfish, like, way up here, and I dash into it... And I dash from a place that has a crystal, so I get another dash... Like, I think that little block is positioned there so that I have to do the... wall jumping thing again on it. So I'll get, like, just enough height to get from somehow down here to up there. With no extra dash, stamina running out. Well, this is a situation. No, I need to... regular, regular wall jump there. Well, let's worry about getting through this dream block first, because that part sure hasn't happened yet. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna do this on purpose, since... oh, that's no good. Okay, so I can either... if I want to neutral jump away from the wall, I press jump before climb. If I want to climb jump, I press climb before jump. Makes sense when I put it that way. So I... oh, well, see, it is hard to control which is which, though. So I'm going to neutral jump. I'm going to climb jump, climb jump. Wall jump, neutral... no. Alright. Wall jump, neutral jump. Climb jump, climb jump, wall jump takes me a long time to position myself horizontally there. Is there some other way I'm supposed to gain height? Like, do I get to the dream block while still having my dash? No, impossible. Okay, if that's true... Okay, idea. What if I throw my jellyfish to the right and get it, like, aligned with that pit with the uh, crystal in it. Okay, what's my sequence? I want a wall jump, neutral jump, climb jump, climb jump, wall jump. Wall, neutral which means jump first. I didn't manage it. Wall, neutral which means jump first then climb. What? Oh, I was steering. Okay. Ah, uh, no, I can't get the one that I want to come out to come out. Um, yes I can. Just have to be more separated with my inputs uh, than that, yes. Like that, okay. Then this way, this way. Don't take forever to do that. Oh, oops. like that. No, don't take forever. Problem is, I did. Ugh. I don't feel like I'm doing the right action in that spot, but I have no idea what else it is I'm supposed to do. What if I throw the jellyfish to the right? Perhaps that will put it in a good spot. Uh. No, no. Yeah, sure, but what about me? <sighs> Everything is so tight. No. 
How did you throw instead? Oh well, because I wasn't holding down at the right time. No. Well, and that's not the move I wanted. Yes, that's okay. Like I've gotten through that gap before. It's happened. It's, it's I did do it. No. 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 All right. You know what? Forget that. That's causing me more problems than it's worth. Is it? Like that spike is super close. Eh, not if I do this well enough. I did it too well. That's acceptable. That's not. There we go. No. The amount of coordination I'm being asked to have here is beyond the amount that I have. So, I'm just gonna have to do it like this until I get lucky and, like, somehow manage all the things at once. This is so many things at once. But it's gonna be cool when I get it. Oh, I threw instead of- mm -hmm. of course I did. Ooh, I can climb jump from, like, so far away from the wall. That's fun. I do not have to be right against it. <sighs> if I could someday get myself lined up there and also do the, like, the rest of what I have to do. Lined up. <sighs> dip down. Dip down so much farther. Deliberately dip down, like, a whole lot. Okay. So my goal is to go, like, three Madeline lengths below the jellyfish before I dash up. Okay? So do that. Well, that didn't help. In order to initiate a smuggle... I would need... The thing not in my hands, for one thing, and in between those two spikes where that crystal is, is a terrible place to set that up. So what you're saying is I'm supposed to throw the jellyfish sooner than that. Okay, let's imagine I did that. Let's imagine, after I do whatever kind of jump it is off the leftmost upper wall there. I throw the jellyfish in such a way that it's lined up so that I can smuggle. I need to do an up dash, veer right slightly and get into those spikes, which is kind of nuts. And in the time that the jellyfish is still there, eat that crystal, do a dash, grab it, smuggle there, hold left to do a dream grab. Then I'm on the right side of that with a jellyfish just kind of sitting on my head and the ability to dash. If I dash up from that state, I get a pretty decent amount of height. I don't see what the second crystal does for me. Aha! So, I'm wrong about that part. After smuggle, I do more of the same. I do the climb jump to get onto that little square, do it again drop down so that I can dash up and eat that crystal at the same time, get one boost, get a second boost, get up there to... Okay, got it. So that's my task in that area. However, there's still the big question mark in how I'm initiating this first smuggle. Well, the only smuggle. Nope. And now how did you do that? So, the theory I'm working with is that I want to throw after the last wall jump 
on the way up toward the dream block. Yeah, that's not gonna work. What if I throw left? Like, where does that put you? I just, I have no idea. I can't throw left. I was holding left that whole time, but you threw right. Because I had just done a wall jump, so that locks my orientation for a time, it looks like. How can I possibly get you into a smuggling position? At such a time that would allow for such an activity. Maybe you can be farther left than I'm thinking in order to smuggle. So I'd go up through that little hole in the spikes. And after that, I... Oh, good grief. Um... No, see, either way, I'm dropping the jellyfish and then just re-grabbing it faster than I think I'm able to actually do that. Like, my route is wrong. How do I have the jellyfish out of my hands for long enough to initiate a smuggle? That's the big question here. The fact that that crystal is there left of that dream block... ...is kind of baffling. Like, what does that tell me? How do I use that? Like, I don't need one after I've entered the dream block. That refills my dash on its own. So I'm gonna have blue hair coming in there. The jellyfish somehow, impossibly, is like already in position. I just don't see how that's gonna happen. I guess I have one idea. Now I've tried this before and I couldn't make it work, but let's try again. That idea being that I throw and bounce it on the dream block instead of dropping it down. So that'll gain me some extra height. Problem is it makes my horizontal position a little bit harder to control. I know that's not the official way to do that. It just happens to work because of the way the spikes are positioned. And it saves me some stamina, so I will take the lenience if I can get it. I just have to remember to switch modes to do it the other way on the very next thing. Like, I know how to do this, I'm just, like, forgetting to apply that knowledge. Well, I didn't manage to throw in time because I forgot what I was doing. Because, like, there's a lot to think about in this first area? Good grief! I see why this came with a warning. Nope. No. Even with the gym's help, which was, to be fair, months ago for me. So I don't remember any of the specifics, but I think, like, I don't think going to the gym now would help me. Like, this is the situation in the wild. And I know all the gym can teach me about it, don't I? Probably not. There's probably some nuance in there that might be useful. But where's the jellyfish going during that process? Well, I just have to drop it down. Okay, let's get this, like, really... I really want to nail this part. There, like that. Well, why, yeah, my directions and my timings of them... <sighs> that, 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 okay. But not that. This is fine. <sighs> Could have been. Remember, go way down before you grab it again. The, the problem is that doesn't give me, like, any time to set anything up. Like that, okay. 
So drop and... And... The problem is if I drop, I'm then below it, so I'm not in position to smuggle. What does that mean? How do I get that into smuggling position? Do I not? Do I just throw it and catch up with it where that crystal is? Maybe there's no smuggling involved. Okay, well, I mean, that seemed closer to working than what I'm trying to do here, so let's make an attempt at that, I guess. It's just that this part preceding it is something I'm basically never able to make work. But hang on, so what am I doing? Where am I throwing? Where am I throwing? Where and when? I dash to get nice and high. I throw the thing to the right. I do a normal dream dash, dream grab, jump up, climb up, unburdened with jellyfish. Then I catch up with it at that second crystal. Uh, my throw has to be good. I need to either be higher or lower than that, because that... I mean, that's clearly not how this is meant to work. Somehow, you want me to smuggle there, it's just... I don't see how that's going to happen, but let's let's focus on like specifically that spot. The most realistic thing I can see here is that I am throwing right sometime around when I do the final climb jump. And then afterward that results in why the spikes got to be so tight. Ah! Ah! It's like my little imprecisions add up to an impossible situation here. Any missed climb jump is just a death sentence. Because, like, I won't have the stamina for the rest. Good grief! This is some high precision nonsense. And, like. Ah! <sighs> ah! <sighs> Just do the thing I'm trying to do, okay? Like... <laughs> it's just... The situation is perfectly set up to make me frustrated with myself and my own inability to do what I know I want to do. It's just too many things to keep track of at once. Like, I know the exact inputs to make this work. But I'm unable to... I don't have just the, like, mental bandwidth to always realize how I need to make the inputs. And let's talk it out, then. So, I steer left, shortly after, I hold climb and press jump. Continue to hold both of those. I hit the wall, release jump, repress jump, keep holding. Get to the second one. Down, release climb, Press jump. A good little bit of time after that, repress climb just to make sure I'm not doing a climb jump. That's how I do the neutral and get it over without making it a climb jump. Hold right, get up to the thing, and here's where it goes wrong. Uh, first of all, there's a timing component that is based on my past performance. But once I'm there, I have to hold down while holding down the entire time. Release cl climb, press climb crucially before pressing jump. I'm going to practice that motion a bit. I'm holding climb. I'm releasing, repressing, then jump. Okay, so I'm thinking about a uh, hand shape thing again. Just shape your hand such that the index finger goes down before the thumb. Not here, but here. Ah, uh, I can release jump a little earlier, and I think that'll help me. Like, don't be holding it the whole time. That's part of the issue. Well, I don't just want to tap. I do need to hold it the whole time. Never mind. No, that has to happen. But if I shape my hand this way... 
Uh, that time the down input betrayed me. Okay, like that. Okay. Like, I know what it feels like when I do it. It's just... <laughs> I don't know what it feels like before I do it. To make myself do that thing each time. And, wow, like, the horizontal alignment here? That's completely nuts, because I assume I'm doing the wrong thing. Like, there's got to be another way than this. Right, so I was trying to throw, I guess? I don't know what I'm doing there. Like, it's just, it's unparsable to me. You want something? What that something is, is just an absolute mystery. So, uh, no, I'm not, no! No! <sighs> Hold on, so one thing is, I'm not attempting another climb jump on that spot. Does that somehow position things better? Like, I'm just treating that as a wall jump. The setup here kind of implies these should all be climb jumps? Maybe? I am fighting an intense battle right now. I'm not really prepared to do another in that spot, but uh, maybe I can learn. I'm, I don't have enough height because my past performance just like adds up. Like I, had, I get, I have too many errors there, so I had to abort and try the other method because I was just too low for a climb jump. And I lose height, like, this strategy is clearly better, because it gains height and doesn't lose as much stamina. But just, the horizontal positioning for that is basically an impossible task for me. However, I do know that I'm always erring too far left. What if I just aim for a spot that's a little more right? See, I run out of stamina if I do those all as climb jumps. Some of them have to not be. And if I'm too high, that happens. Like that one in particular. But what if... No! No, I... I, no, I see, now I'm just gonna run out of stamina, so I'm aborting and doing another thing. But then what? Like, what can I possibly do in that spot to help things? Here, let's... Here's what I need. I need to be in the situation and see, like, what my... what my exact position and angle is. Nope, no. Nope. Well, I can't see it now. This is what I want to see. Let's say I would throw with, like, inhumanly perfect timing. When it would position me at a, such a spot I could dash up, get that crystal, and initiate a smuggle. The jellyfish would be long gone. It would be, like, inside the spikes to my left at that time, right? It doesn't go away quite that quickly. However, it does still go away too quickly for it to be possible to initiate a smuggle in that situation. So that is absolutely the wrong thing to do. So let's look at the other approach. The, the other approach... Oh, wait a second. Well, I got a gross idea. It'll work, though. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, this is what I'm doing. Oh, I don't like this. So first of all, it does rely on doing the that part. I'm gonna... Ah, that's... There's no way that's gonna work. I was gonna grab on the dream block and just hang on it like a wall until the jellyfish drifts down to where I can jump left slightly, dash right, and smuggle. I don't think I can engineer that situation, though. Yeah, I can't veer right enough. Well, what if I dash into the dream block and back out. Then the jellyfish will be long gone. Like, that's too slow. I need some stalling, but less stalling than that. Uh, 
I just feel like I'm building up this whole ridiculous chain of um, corrections for an action that at its core just is the wrong one. The problem is, as far as I can see, this is the only way through. Like, how do you expect me to see any other way to route this? Okay, let's go backward. Assuming my goal is smuggle jellyfish through dream block from left to right, which makes the most sense to me. Assuming that's my goal. The prerequisite to that is to be a little left of the dream block with the jellyfish in the area and a dash. The crystal takes care of the dash part. It's the jellyfish in the area part that's just completely impossible to set up. So, let's think of all the angles it could approach from. It could drift down from above. It could be thrown from far to the left. There is nothing far to the left. Just this dead zone where Madeline can never go. Below and to the left, what trajectory does the jellyfish throw in? It goes up about a Madeline height. So I would have to be... And how fast does it do that? Too fast. It's out of there before I can smuggle. It's just, none of this is realistic. You're asking for the impossible here. The setup just doesn't work with what I understand. So, how do I gain the understanding that would make it possible? Well, now, hold on. Let's go back to the idea of going through the dream block twice. In that situation, it looked like the timing would be possible. I might have something there. It's the wrong thing. However, the right thing is just, like, it's not happening. Like, there is no way I'm doing this room the right way, because the right way, as far as what I can see is concerned, doesn't exist. And there basically is no technique to see what I'm not seeing. It's just... The path that I'm taking is the path that I'm seeing. Others are never going to be visible to me, so don't worry about them. Just make it work however you can make it work. If you stumble on the other way, that doesn't exist right now, then great. If not, then I'll do it my own way. I didn't manage to dream grab, but that's basically what I'm trying to do there. So right, what's happening there means I'm not repressing climb quick enough. I've gotten better at the horizontal positioning task. There's so much going on at the same time that the re-grabbing task is failing. Uh, and then sometimes even my dash direction is just not even input at all. I mean, there was some point there at which I was holding up. It wasn't the right point. I have to dip down more before I regrab. Um, and I should be regrabbing slower because I want more height, I guess. Oh. Like that. Uh, okay. A lot like that. The jellyfish is too far left. So I want to repeat all this, but get it a little more to the right. Good luck with that. How do you think that's going to happen? I'll have to veer right, drop it, veer left, veer right, and then, then it'll be in the right place. It means I need a lot of height. But I want that anyway, just so I have time to do anything. Okay. Remember to think really hard about those two inputs, like those are the crucial two. I can't throw. I have to drop, but I have to have more height than that. Like this. Uh, that could have worked, maybe. I don't know if that's close enough for smuggle. I don't know what smuggle parameters are. Like, how close can you be?
Oh, I didn't regrab. If I'd regrabbed, maybe I would have had a chance. I'm gonna have to jump out away from the dream block. Dash right, and like there's there's a lot more to do after that. Like that's not the end of my tasks. Yep. So you go too high and that happens. Go too low and I just don't have the time to do the rest. Oh, there's just there's no timing window there. It's just it's a timing speck. One tiny little point space. And why? I know, I know why. Just focus. Focus! Come on! Get your skin right up to that needle, but don't get pricked by it. That's really the story here. Just like... Be feeling the needle on your skin. Just don't bleed. <laughs> That's what I have to do here. Like, even when I'm doing this properly. Whatever that looks like, which I will never know. Okay, so close. I would need to release my climb button at a different time there. I don't want to throw, I want to drop! What's the idea? Like, why is this... why is this the way that it is? Do you suppose, maybe if I went back to the gym, it would show me something about, like, let's say throwing the jellyfish instead of dropping it straight down or something here? Maybe there's some extra nuance to this that's just like a whole dimension I'm not even considering. But this does seem to be made to work the way that I'm doing it, right up until I have to enter that dream block somehow and just, like, everything falls apart. It's just like, this is perfectly coherent until then, then just, like, it dissolves into a pile of nonsense. Just completely incomprehensible. Nope. No. No. Some other stuff happened today. I'm never going to remember any of it. This is just like, this has absorbed all the light in the universe. Like, this is the only thing that exists now. This little spot right here. Remember, climb first, but not here, not there, here, yes there, not here, yes here, climb first, like when I think about it I can do it. Needle punctured your skin, gotta just brush it gently. No punctures, Shh, but pick up the thing. <sighs> It's like, this, this one thing that's directly above me right now, that's way too high up. That's the issue I have with this whole thing. Like, that one spike, move it one tile down, and this would be, like, so much more pleasant. It's that one. <sighs> if someday I could re-grab that... Just, why is that the most impossible task for me? I did it there, but my horizontal position was wrong. Focus. Focus on pressing, climb first. 
so my grab press needs to be later, after the dash press. After the dash press, okay. Don't really have any time to think. Just have to do. Yep. Could see it coming, couldn't do anything about it. I suppose in theory I could drop the jellyfish on the way to the right instead of left, but that's like so much harder to position anything. I'd lose less time, but no, don't throw! Saved it with one little error. Don't throw! I want to drop! I have yet to prove that this is possible. It could be that this is just, like, straight up non-viable. No. Other way. Remember. Think about pressing climb first. If I think about it, I can do it. If I don't think about it, I'll forget to do it. Don't throw! Drop! Okay. So think about... <sighs> Remembering what I have to think about in each spot. <laughs> it's too much to think about. Think about it, and it happens. Okay. How are you throwing instead of dropping? I don't understand what I'm doing to cause that. And I wish I did. Stop doing... Okay, no, I... Uh, I have the answer to this. It's just, like, it doesn't fit in my head. Like, too many things are in here. Okay, so I just didn't put the dash too late, or it was too far left... Like, this has been a problem the whole level, just controlling that, and like, last level too. It's just, this is my weakness. I'm stuck with this handicap. And because of that, I just don't get to do what I want to do. What even happened there? Lots of things. Nothing went right. Okay. Needle wasn't touching my skin. I couldn't feel it. Gotta be touching. A gentle caress of the needle point. I had to climb down a little bit. This would feel less costly if, like, I could evaluate whether this was possible without taking this much time to do it. It's just the lead-up actions are so incredibly unreliable that figuring out if I even can do the rest of the... The problem is I can't. I can't go left without going too far up there. Like, left enough to grab the jellyfish and initiate the smuggle. Like, okay. I'm gonna declare this... Impractical. I'm convinced it's possible, however, it is impractical. I will not be doing it today. Therefore, just, just like, demolish that entire thought process. Build something new. Jellyfish there, getting smuggled. Am I sure that's even what I'm doing? No. But the presence of this block in that format, is telling me it's what the level wants me to do. Somehow, I'm on the right side of that dream block with a jellyfish in hand, able to cl climb jump, then do it again there. That means I've just smuggled it from left to right. That means I'm there, the jellyfish is there, I have a dash, I use the dash, I grab the jellyfish. I've been there, 
The jellyfish has been there. I've had a dash. But all three of those things have not happened at the same time. So let's just... Okay, so this is not a run focused on getting the entire room done. This is a run focused on where the jellyfish can go. That throw is so fast. Like, the bounce off of that throw is so fast. I have no chance to get up there by the time it would be in smuggling position, right? Yes, like, look how far away it was. It was in those spikes, or heading toward those spikes to my left. If it's... I mean, okay, my options are throw right or drop. If it's one of those two things, but see, then I have this, this other dash. What's that other dash doing? I got a weird idea. How can I test this? Uh, I need to drop down. No, I need to drop down. No, other way. I'm trying to do a... Uh, let's do it here. A wall bounce that also involves picking up the jellyfish afterwards. Does that mean anything? I'm not pressing the jump button early enough. Okay, so two separate operations. I, I can't even input a wall bounce now. I, no, I'm too used to doing the other thing. Okay. Go here. Drop. Like that. Okay. That's... I mean, I can do it. I did it there. I saw it happening. Like, I'm wondering if I want to input that on that upper left wall. The trajectory is pretty good, but I think it'll stab me into that spike above and left of the dream block. Without really doing anything worthwhile. Ooh. Okay, now hold up. Throw dash up right to get up... Oh, hang on. I think I might have something. And it's a lot simpler than what I was trying. Simpler is good. My angle's wrong for an upright dash. No, that just puts me in spikes. No, it has to be an up dash. And that's part of the problem. Up dash takes too long. So that's why I do a climb jump there. Oh, that fixes my angle. Oh. So by resisting what the level is signaling me to do, if I were to interpret all of these signals as being this kind of climb jump, which I'm doing up above, so I should have done it there. Yeah, okay. By not, like, trusting that that signal is accurate, I didn't see what I could do if it was. Okay, I understand now. It does mean I need to pull off another of these here, which I can do. There. Check it out, I did it. Okay, okay. That's why you would want to climb jump there. I just didn't ask that question, why would you want to climb jump there? Instead, I asked the question of what do I want to do there? And I came up with a different answer. And that led me to a whole dead-end adventure. Got it. And I've gotten my inputs straight here, if I can just keep them in my head for a moment. Okay, so from now on, I'm doing only that three times. So this is the different one, or not. Okay. I do want it to be because it saves me stamina and like I've, I've learned to do this and it's fine. It does kind of prime me to do a different thing, which is part of why I keep forgetting how to do the follow-up action. What did that mean? That meant I wasn't holding climb early enough. Right, and was doing one of those. Of course. Well, not that. Nope. Oh. 
how does the down input figure into all of this? Like, when that goes wrong, what does it mean? I don't know, could be too late, could be too early. I'm pressing it so quickly, there's no telling. But I have to press it that quickly. Why the second one so much harder than the first? Well, I mean, there's three inputs here. The sequencing of them is just, like, so incredibly precise. And they're so fast? Nope. I had to do three in a row. Sometimes I get this weird halfway thing and think I can recover, but that's never true. No, okay, so no, I, I, no! Ah! I am still fighting a raging battle inside my head. I can't verbalize any of it. So you're just stuck here with me, just saying no to myself all the time about things that aren't even really all that visible. Why is it so much harder? Well, because, like, that's not a direction reverse. It's it's a different context. When something's removed from its original context, or if the context changes, it just it becomes unrecognizable sometimes. Perfect execution ran out of stamina. This is why I do the different thing here, because I run out of stamina otherwise. So it has to be this, even though this feels like not what the level's asking. It might not ask for it, but it requires it anyway. Nope. No. <laughs> Don't re-grab during that dash. Right, okay, it's two dashes before the grab, and also that's a smuggle. Nope. Nope! <clears throat> if I could just get clear in my head what commands I want to send to my fingers, maybe I'd have a chance of actually sending those commands. That's the whole thing here. That's the battle I'm fighting in my head. Like understanding the sequence and how to and how to translate it into these electrical signals that are going to my hands. I couldn't grab because I was out of stamina. I was holding the whole time. Because I didn't do that move. No! Oh. I know, we're here until this is done. However long that takes. Nope. I'm boarding if that happens. Nope. Jump first, climb first, climb first, climb first. Saying it helped. I'm here. Then I don't know because I've never been there before. New record! Jump first, climb first, climb first, climb first. Hey, directives help. If I talk to myself, that does it. Wall jump, jump first, climb first, climb first, climb first. Okay, that's, that's all it took. I just had to direct myself. Okay. Jump first but a little later. Jump first, aligned with the middle of that. Climb f <laughs> I didn't hear the instructions, so I pressed dash. <laughs> climb first, climb first, climb first, uh, climb first, climb first. Jump first, climb first, climb first. Nope. Wall jump, jump first. Jump first, climb first, climb first, climb first. Throw, dash, dash, smuggle, but be higher. Jump first, climb first. Climb. I'm not saying anything about the down direction, so if that goes wrong, it'll just go wrong. I'm just leaving that to its own devices. Climb first. Climb first. Climb. 
Jump first. Climb first. Climb first. Nope. Jump first. Climb first. Climb first. That was not climb first. Listen to yourself. Jump first. Climb first. Climb first. Climb first. Throw. Dash dash smuggle. Uh, gotta dash right. Jump first. Climb f Jump first means press jump before climb. Jump first. Climb first. Climb first. Climb first. Throw, throw, smug. Give me a second. I'm doing a wall jump. Climb first in that context. I've never done that in that context. So it's really hard to do and my finger wants to hit dash. How naughty of it. Oh, I'm surprised I survived that. Again, a context change happens there. I'm convincing myself that I can do that action again is hard because it's just, it's a different situation. The pathway to sending the signals to my thumbs is cued by the visuals that surround the place where I have to send that. And because that place looks unfamiliar, I've only done it a time or two, just no signals get sent. I don't understand. Yes, like that, okay. I did it. Okay, then I have to aim for the hole. So I got there in the end. I am, other than that little move to save stamina, I feel like I'm doing everything as prescribed. Okay, okay. Oh, I threw instead of dropping. I gotta drop where the torch is. That's what the torch is for. That's my drop point reference. Okay, I appreciate your presence, torch. Yep, could tell I was too low. That's fine. I just lost some height there. Okay, we're in the home stretch now. <laughs> Funny how, watch this with no audio. You'd never be able to tell that. This is why I do my best to share what's happening in my internal state. I don't know if it's in a language anyone else can understand, but I'm doing my best. No, um, well, you know what? Eventually that would get me to a place that'd be compatible with that, but I'm not ready for it to. I, I want it the other way. I just need to be a little higher when it happens. Nope. I've internalized this part. I don't have to instruct myself out loud for it anymore. I'll still have failures, but they're less frequent. Yes, okay. Drop. Yo, okay, so I need more height than that. All right, new record once again. This room is so cool. Like, I went an entire adventure here and I regret nothing. This is actually great. Oh. I'm up for this challenge. It is quite serious as a challenge. <laughs> close, okay. Also new record, like I was closer than I was before. I gotta be like two whole tiles higher than that. Uh, mm, that could have worked. It didn't, could I? I'm glad I've had several successes at the first part of this, because now I know what success feels like, so that helps me repeat it. Oh, whoa, I wasn't in the grab range. Okay. Learning things about grab range here. Okay. Don't suppose you'll regrow? I mean, you do, but I couldn't take advantage of that. So, you do, though. So, if I get a bad um, upfling there, 
I can probably retry without doing the whole room over. If I just kind of hang out in the air for a bit. Oh, I was too low. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, this experience right here, this is what I meant back in the lantern level when I asked it to teach me to love it. This situation has taught me to love the moves that I'm doing. Just something about the way that this whole thing has come together. There's friction, but beyond the friction is the satisfaction that makes it worth it. I don't play Celeste to have a friction-free experience. This is like, this is the essence of why I play Celeste. Like, this is just a perfect example of why I love this game. Just the transformation from not having anything I can do, it seems like, to... I don't have mastery here, but, like, I have enough competence to maybe make something work. I have confidence. There we go. That's the word. I got pushed left by the throw and it put me in spikes. That's why I died. I was confused for a moment. Whoa. So, <laughs> how many times is it going to take before I'm able to actually pull off the what I need to pull off up in the spot where it counts? Okay, remember, climb first, jump first, climb first, climb first, climb first. See, when I give myself the directive, it's easy. Climb first. Okay. Yo! Oh, okay. Well, at least one more than that. New record. Sure, that worked. That didn't. Oops. I am too low. One thing that feels good is like I'm gaining the confidence to be able to actually drop the jellyfish down a little before I'm at the wall that I want to wall jump off of. And that feels cool when it happens. Like, well, it, it didn't happen right there, but like, that was the setup. Okay, climb first. Just remind myself, climb first. That was not... Uh, yeah, I'm... Shape your hand differently. Think about that hand shape. Like, you're, you're not doing it. You're not doing it there. Do it the other way. Like, I'm too eager to hold that jump button. Like, I can kind of listen for it. I don't know how much is getting picked up by what you can hear here, but... Two clicks instead of one. That. That. I'm a little low. I correct it. Yo! Uh, that dash didn't happen. Yes. No. Not only did I not smuggle, but I also didn't dream grab. Like, both things went wrong. Oh, fix? Actually... Okay, really? Someday? <laughs> yep. That jump wasn't neutral. Ah, uh, the pushback. I have to- I do have to veer right a little bit before I throw, because, like, if I just throw right away, I'm, I'm going into spikes. Whoa. Nope. Climb first. That's- that's the solution to that problem. Don't forget it. Like, it doesn't feel like the solution. That's why, like, I often- I'm not able to apply the correction very quickly after I see the problem. It just... Like, I know how to fix it, it does... The fix doesn't feel like it would be the fix. Yo, I recovered. Uh, but not enough stamina. That's not a real recovery. 
No, I have to drift right. You have to drift right. The climb jump will not give you the distance you need. You have to drift right. Okay, so if that's my prime problem now... No, it's, it's climb first. Jump first, climb first. Climb first, climb first. I drifted that way. I didn't do the dream grab somehow. Yeah, I was a little slow on it. Climb first. Chai wasn't ready. Yes, no. I right, my smuggle was bad. The input was wrong. That's why it failed. Ooh, that was confusing. Come on now. No, we're gonna do this properly. Like that. See? Okay. <laughs> I at least did the thing properly I wanted to do properly. My success rate went down. Which is to say, successes entirely stopped happening. I was having some. I had the room almost solved, but then regression. I'm gonna do that again. That almost worked, but my dash didn't go off before my grab. Right, because that sequence needs to be perfect. Nope. 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 We're gonna do this right. But the push... the throw pushed me into the spikes. Another set of spikes I wish were, like, one tile further away. Just that little extra bite there. Like, you gotta veer or you're dying. There's a lot of bite in this room. Nope. Nope. There. Good attempt. Nope. <sighs> the pushback. The pushback! I never remember to veer until it's too late, or I do it by accident. See, it's because of that spike that I'm trying to do nonsense like drop the thing early or do a wall jump when I'm not actually against the wall. That one spike right there. That, that's the killer. Most of my blood is on that spike, more than anything else in the room. That one has a lot of it, too. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I am surprised the pushback didn't kill me there. Okay. I can try again. Oh, no, I can't. No, I don't have enough dashes to do that. No, no. If I fail, I'm, I'm done. It's one shot. Okay. Fair. That's what most rooms are like. That's fine. Ooh, that worked. Uh, no, that's... hang on. In that situation, I can try again. Too low. Mm -hmm. Even if I dashed the right way, I would have died. A bit low. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Like, why am I sometimes really low there? I'm not sure what it is that makes me lose height, like, right in this section, but sometimes I just do. See, that was perfect. Like, that's exactly how I always want that to go. Yo. Ah! Did it. Did it. Did it. Did it. 
Did it. Did it. Yeah! All the satisfaction. Yes. Okay. Thank you. That was lovely. That spike there with the foreground looks like it's like a... Oh, there's parallax. Like right, right here, it's like a happy chompy face chomping to the right. That one like at the top of the second spike, uh, chain of spikes from the... from where I am. <laughs> Alright, so. That was great. Uh, it took a bit. <laughs> Next time I'm gonna parse whatever this room is and uh, do it.